possibly a day late, but never a dollar short. That's right, folks. I've received several comments, both in my videos and in my live streams, to try out, of course, Clash of Clans, another famous, if not the most famous Supercell game that they have ever released. Very similar to our Boom Beach videos, of course, because it's that Boom Beach-esque type stuff. We decided we were going to give it a try. So here you guys can see it is a relatively brand new account. I leveled up a little bit over the last, I don't know, maybe day. But still very much so a low level. I'm going to try to keep this account as free to play as possible. Not really spending any money on it or anything like that. And see what we can do. Mind you, I am unfamiliar so much with Clash of Clans. I did play Once Upon a Time many, many years ago. So it's been a long time and I know it's similar to Boom Beach but has some different aspects so bear with me as always I am the resident dweller in the world Dark Anubis and let me know what you guys want to see come out of this game like I said I'm not entirely sure what I want the video styles to be I'm kind of just showing off some attacks explaining a little bit about the account and then we'll kind of go from there and see what we can do uh, at the end of the video I also do create a clan if you guys are interested in joining you guys know how it goes it is of course another supernova because that's kind of the task force or i guess in this case clan brand starting off the video with a we'll call it an mbc base i guess it's their way of saying mpc base even though it's like a story-esque mode just kind of showing off like i said very new i know there are a lot of uh character developments not character developments character units in this game so that's definitely gonna be a learning experience to find what units are best and how to take on some of the defenses. One of the big differences, of course, and it's always been made a comment, is there is no flaring in this game. So the troop choice is actually super important because certain troops, of course, focus defenses while other troops focus resource bases. I know there's a lot of videos out for the Clash of Clans stuff, but in this channel, we like to do things so, oh so casually. So this is definitely going to be a more of a channel for people who maybe are trying to get into the Clash of Clans and maybe want to learn it. So, and as always, shameless shout out. If you guys want to see more of this content, make sure you like that video. Like I said, we're going to be doing all kinds of Supercell games. So make sure you subscribe. It is free after all. And turn on those bell notifications so that you always know what is happening. Uh, this won't be like an everyday thing. Clash of Clans, I think, is going to be once, maybe twice a week, depending on how kind of the kind of viewership we get to it. <clears throat> we will, of course, be progressing throughout the week, and then we'll kind of just do like a overview of where we've gotten to, you know, some attacks and things that we may have learned and stuff like that. So, and I may record throughout the week some interesting stuff. Like, for instance, this was the first base that we hit a two star on. So. We're going to try to review back and see a good way to get a three-star on that base. Maybe I'll post a video on that or something like that. Sorry, I try not to die in the mic. <clears throat> going on into another... Well, I'm going to continue to say NBC base. We'll say it's more so like a story mode for the game. Easy way to get resources just to kind of get those early levels. Probably more so even than player bases because I think some player bases probably aren't quite quite full on resources just yet being this low level but we'll eventually move into some multiplayer stuff and i'm sure as things go on we'll get back into the multiplayer stuff so stay tuned for that i know there is a lot of different ways to attack different bases and i know the bases are pretty crazy i've seen some videos not too much but a couple videos on how insane some of the strategy to be able to wipe out full player bases can be so I'm excited. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the gameplay and the different strats that we eventually build up. But it's just slow, a slow grind trying to figure it all out. So, um, If you guys have any recommendations for video ideas, make sure you guys put that in the comments as well. As far as, you know, things that you want to see um, and where you go, hope we kind of take it. We will probably eventually try to jump into... Uh, clash royale which i've already done an account with but i kind of play it offline and then maybe brawl stars as well just to kind of do the realm of supercell gaming and mobile gaming of course our channel will never be a strict channel on any type of content we're just kind of feeling out like i said i figured there are probably folks that oh my god that giant just flew like crazy one of those spring traps i have never seen that that was hilarious 
Either way. <clears throat> what was I? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, just trying to testing out the the landscape of, you know, viewership and all that stuff and seeing what people are interested in. Like I said, there are plenty of people that in my chats and in my games that said, you know, hey, it'd be cool if you tried out Clash of Clans and all that stuff. And I know there's a much bigger player base for Clash of Clans. Nothing against Boom Beach. I still love the game. It is the game that I originally went with, and we will still be making content from Boom Beach. So maybe through my median, some people will be interested in trying Boom Beach. So I know it's a game that's a little bit forgotten by Supercell, but still holds dearly in my heart. And I know folks that probably play Clash of Clans might be interested in a game that's similar to it and different in some aspects. So Boom Beach has a similar feeling, but also a different feeling. Two big things that I've noticed, as I said before, was the there's no flaring, which I think is pretty huge because, like I said, your unit selection is extremely important in Clashing Clans. Not so much in Boom Beach, but it still is, I suppose. And knocking out the headquarters in Clash of Clans is not an end-all be-all. I think it's only worth one star in this game. For Boom Beach, of course, if you knock out the headquarters, you knock out the whole base. So two very different ways to play the game. I don't think one is any better than the other. I think this probably requires a little bit more skill in Clash of Clan world, but we'll see as we push on how truthful that is. So here we are taking on our first real player base. And as you can see, definitely a lot different than the story mode stuff not nearly as difficult but i'm sure i'm sure as time goes by uh the bases will get a little bit harder so once again stay tuned for all that this is probably going to be a very grindy game i hear some of the upgrades take several weeks and stuff like that and there's all kinds of crazy stuff kind of look through the laboratory and the barracks and all that stuff in the game just to see how many troop units there are and there's a ridiculous amount there's heroes which are kind of like uh or maybe they're champions in this game I heroes champions that are like the heroes in boom beach i'll have to figure out the terminology there's definitely going to be a difference of terminology for myself being a boom beach player i'm sure things are called differently first off i know the task force is a clan in here i know the headquarters is probably i think it's called the town hall is what they refer to in clash of clans so bear with me as i figure out all of the terminology and i try to figure it out out i know a lot of the units because clash of clan uses pretty much all the same units so that's not too too hard for me to remember but it will be harder for me to remember what, you know, buildings are referred to and all that stuff. So we're going to do one more. I think this is one more multiplayer. Maybe it's two more. I honestly can't remember. We're going to do another multiplayer base. And even though we might be leaking resources at some point, this is kind of just to show off kind of the different play style and maybe get a feel of the game in and itself. So. Like I said, we're definitely not going to make this like a main game for me. It will be a jump on when I can, try to get some stuff done, and then of course doing some videos for y'all. If it gets super, super crazy, super, super intense, or if like the viewership is crazy, then like I said, we might move on to a couple days, maybe three. But like I said, this will not be an everyday download or upload, and it will not be like a consistent replacement for Boom Beach at all. So just to trying out something different. I'm trying to figure out a video schedule for different things that I want to do. You know, maybe Mondays and Wednesdays will be Boom Beach. Tuesdays and Thursdays will be, you know, a Clash of Clans. Maybe we'll throw Brawl Stars and or a Clash Royale in one of those days. And then variety, of course, on different days. So Friday, we still do do the co-op streams with the misses. So we will be continuing to do that. Um, until we finish it takes two and then we'll probably jump into another game depending on if people are interested in seeing more content with the misses which i know it gets a pretty decent amount of viewership so and then we do have our among us stuff that still happens on the weekends a little bit slower on my part but doesn't mean that we're stopping it we'll definitely be jumping in there again i'm sure sometime this weekend and we'll continue to do that until you know that group of folks decides that we no longer want to do it but I think everyone is still super interested in it. Not as much crazy interest as it was originally, you know, a few months ago, but I think people are still very much interested in it. So I just gotta 
jump into it and of course try to make content out of it because I know it's something that the Boom Beach community and hopefully if we have new members of the community through these different games you guys may enjoy something like that as well so stay tuned for all that like I said this channel will never be exclusively any one game I never want it to be that way I know it started off kind of in the Boom Beach as aspect of it but we will be switching that trying to keep it as variety as possible with different games our niche as of right now of course is mostly mobile gaming but and here we are ending off the video starting off our clan we got enough gold i didn't even realize you needed gold to start a clan so i had to collect some supernova is going to be the name of the game kind of just putting in a random description i'm sure it will change as will the requirements and all that stuff as the clan builds up just very simplistic straight to the point for any of my boom beach folks that are interested and maybe have joined the task force in boom beach or have talked about you know maybe me playing clash clans feel free to join the clan like i said i am super new to it so for you folks that have been in there for a long time and are probably super high level bear with me as i am still trying to figure it all out but any help is greatly appreciated like I said, we will change some stuff small with the clan, but this is just kind of getting things started. No crazy things like that. Uh, of course, we'll be international, English, all the simplistic stuff. Relaxed, talkative, newbie-friendly. That's how we want to keep it. Oh, sorry, international and newbie-friendly. Along with everything else. Like I said, you guys know, in this channel, we are casual players. We don't take this game too seriously at all. So, for anybody who's interested in maybe getting... And part of or getting getting into Clash of Clans and all that stuff, feel free to check out the clan and, you know, we'll go from there. Like I said, hopefully we can build it and make a little name for the Supernova name. So, and I think what we'll do, oh, we're kind of just looking some stuff over. Like I said, going to be figuring out a lot of stuff over the next week. So, next video, hopefully you guys... We'll see a little bit more interest. But there it is. There's the clan tag if you guys are interested. As well as the name. That is pound sign 2 golf lima 2 golf papa romeo quebec golf for anybody who knows the phonetic alphabet. Easiest way to find the clan. Otherwise you can probably search it up through the name I guess. But I like to use the clan tags a little bit easier. So Hopefully you guys are interested. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. You know, recommendations, tips, and all that stuff. A little bit of backseating is no problem for me as I try to navigate through this new space. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and will be interested in the journey that I take as a brand new casual player in Clash of Clans. As per usual, there's only one no way one way we know how to say goodbye on this channel, and that is I am the resident dweller of the underworld, the casual player's player, the David to max players goliath and yes finally a clash of clanner a little bit <laughs> dark anubis and i'll see you all next time peace